action. Welcome back. This is another video that uh, we're producing, another high budget video through uh, the Navy Sources. So welcome to the Friday morning edition of how to put on sterile gloves. Notice I've got a pack of sterile gloves. I'm going to be putting these sterile gloves on. The important thing before you put a pack of sterile gloves on is to make sure you look good. I haven't done that. My hair's a little tousled up, but that's okay. Anyways, sterile gloves, find the size that you need. I use a seven and a half, sometimes a size eight, but typically a seven and a half is good for me. But find the size of gloves that fits your hand the best, because the tighter they are, probably the better fitting they are and the better chance you have to put these on and do whatever you need to do through sterile technique. Now before you put it on, make sure that you've got everything nice and clear where you're putting them on, that nothing can fall off your purse and onto your sterile gloves before you put them on. If you have a mustache, maybe comb all the stuff out of it that might be sitting inside your mustache. I usually don't have a lot of stuff in my mustache, so that doesn't seem to be a problem. Anyways, sterile gloves. So here's my package of sterile gloves. And open them up like so. They're still sterile inside the packaging. And you can see it still says seven and a half. Now when I use these sterile gloves, I put them on. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open them up. And as soon as you open them up, you see it says left, right. Left is for the left hand, right is for the right hand. and place them down on a stable surface where they're not going to fall, etc. Now I've got a band-aid on my finger here and I hope it's not going to impede my movement or the putting on of the sterile gloves. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this, like so, pull that back. Take this tab here, pull it back. Now it also says for me to make sure my hands are dry before I put them on, thoroughly dry. And that's a good thing, because if your hands are wet, it makes it more difficult to place these gloves on your fingers and onto your hands. Next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to take my fingers underneath the tabs here. I'm going to pull this apart like so. So that stays open. Now I don't want to talk and spit on there because that will affect the sterility of the packaging. So the center portion where the gloves are, are sterile. So how do I get sterile gloves onto my clean, thoroughly dried hands? This is how. First of all, I'm going to take this portion here and pick up my right glove. So all this that is bent back onto the sterile glove will not come into contact with the glove. It's going to come, up, come into contact with my skin. I'm going to take my hand, line it up with the position of the glove, and pull this on like so. This hand, this glove, is sterile. The next thing I'm going to do is take my hand, grab this glove. This is the left-handed glove. Put my fingers on, underneath like so. I'm going to take my other hand and the fingers from it and slide it on and into the glove like that. Now, if I wanted to, I could take my finger like so and put that up like that. There. I've got my sterile gloves on. Now to avoid touching anything that could compromise the sterility of your fingers, put your hands together in this fashion or like this, and then walk over to wherever your sterile field is, and then you can grab whatever's on your sterile field with both sterile hands until one hand becomes clean while the other one remains sterile. I'm right hand dominant, so I like to have my right hand as my sterile hand, my left hand eventually becomes my clean hand. And if I'm doing a sterile procedure where both hands need to remain sterile, I keep them both sterile by paying attention to what I'm doing and ensuring that I'm not touching anything that could be contaminated that would wreck my sterility of my gloves. And that's how you put on sterile gloves.